All right. So, good afternoon, class. Our lesson for today will cover two topics, forms of business organizations and an introduction to different business functions. By the way, do not confuse yourselves with management processes or functions versus um, business functions. Kumbaga, si management functions or processes, yun yung mother, yung baby or anak, yun yung business functions. All right? So, ano yung alam ninyo na ano, business function? Probably naririnig nyo, pero um, you did not, or do not coin that term. So, um, for this afternoon, our objectives are the following. Or for today, kasi afternoon ko siya record. <laughs> Characterize different forms of business. What are those? And then, um, let's discuss the advantages and disadvantages of the different forms. Guys, please bear with me. Anyway, you can skim through this video naman, eh, okay? And read your lecture or notes if you don't feel like listening. What do you think is the importance of knowing different forms of business? Why? If I were a student, mapapatanong nga rin ako. Pero at that time, naisip ko, Suppose magtatayo ako ng sarili kong business. Of course, I have to be informed or at least uh, may alam ako tungkol dun sa um, kumbaga nitigriti nung kung saan ko gustong i-engage ng sarili ko. Kunwari, di ba magtatayo ka ng business? Do you want to become a sole proprietor or to be in a partnership corporation or to be a member of a co cooperative? Well, anyway, the importance of knowing these different forms of business is to have a knowledge of the legal structure of businesses because it is very important, especially diba, when you have the knowledge of the business environment, uh, you will know kung ano ba yung pwede maging opportunities and threats nitong pagpasok mo sa business that you want to engage in. Also, businesses right now are becoming more complicated. Diba even online businesses, before wala yung taxes eh. I remember back in time in Memorial, so 2009 or 2008, I actually worked online, a part-time tutor. Have you heard of the rarejob.com? So the clients are Japanese and then we do online English teaching for about 30 minutes or to one hour for a Japanese client. But we have a module naman. And at the time, wala pang tax. Pero a few years after, narinig ko na lang, meron na palang tax kapag naging online shooter ka. More so right now, di ba? Yun daw sabi ng government, yung mga businesses sa Facebook, sa Instagram, they will charge a fee. So maybe some of you can update us regarding the nooks and crannies or the nitty-gritty of being an online business, mga tipong ganyan. Ngayon, online franchising, nauuso, tok-tok, di ba? Kasi uso nga yung mga online delivery. Alright. So, as I've mentioned earlier, the different forms of businesses are sole proprietorship, partnership, corporation, and cooperative. Alright? So, one by one, we're going to discuss its advantages and disadvantages as well as its characterization. So, ano yung mga titingnan natin? Ilan yung number of owners, formation and dissolution? When we speak of dissolution, it also means decommissioning or paano siya madidissolve, okay? And then, degree of control by who? By the owner. So, who are considered the owners? So, also, we have to know the profit sharing and distribution, degree of formality, transfer of ownership, taxation and administration all right now let's level off first i'm pretty sure na rinig niyo na tong dividends or dividendo na tinatawag so corporations um those who are in a into partnership form of business cooperative they have these dividends and dividends means an amount of money paid regularly by a company to its shareholders out of its profits actually a corporation it's not their obligation to give their uh, shareholders the dividendo, especially if hindi naman talaga kumita yung kumpanya. Like last year, di ba, a lot of businesses were operating at a loss, meaning negative or break even. So, how are they surviving? You have to pump in more or give more um, investments actually. Kaya nga in stocks, the 
thing is, kapag bumaba yung share price niya, you don't withdraw it. Pero ang natural behavior kasi, we need withdraw ng mga tao. So, that negatively affects the company. But if you want to keep the company running, yun, um, kailangan steady lang siya doon. I, I invested a small amount sa Cebu Pacific. Almost half uh, na yung na, na slash niya. So, 50% na. Buti na lang, hindi, siya, hindi naman siya malaki. Parang I, I just tried. And then, three years ago, I opened that. So, instead na tumubo siya or kumita, of course, at si Group Pacific, ayan, na-slash na siya into half. Okay? So, well, anyway, as I've mentioned naman before, pataas naman talaga yung ano, um, trend. So, this is just a season. It's not gonna be forever. So, separate entity considers a business as a distinct separate legal entity from its owners. Ibig sabihin lang nito, mamaya explain ko lalo. Um, what do you mean by that? The separate entity. A distinct separate legal entity from its owners. This is very uh, one of the good ways to assess or to think about. Kasi palagay ko dito yung nag-fall yung maraming tao din. Limited liability, what does it mean? It is the legal protection available to the shareholders of privately and publicly owned corporations. So liability, meaning pagkakautang of up to invested amount only. So who are under the limited liability? All right? So for example, di ba? Um, limited liability example, investor invested 50 million in a business. Ngayon yung nalugi dun sa business, 100 million. But yung investor, if you are just a limited um, partner, for example, in partnership, ang pagkakautang mo lang ay 50 million. Pero kung unlimit, un, unlimited yung liability mo, um, 50 million na invest mo plus mga pag-umay-ari mo. So, yun yun. Kaya may isang di ba naririnig nyo, yung mga businesses nagde-declare sila ng bankruptcy para hindi na magtuloy-tuloy pa yung kanilang uh, losses. Pero there are business decisions kasi eh, that's why financial statements are very important because that will be your decision point whether you are going to continuously operate because you are still uh, breaking even. I remember the other day, I listened to that uh, agribusiness session with yung pinos ko sa Google Classroom natin. Mr. Paco Magsaysay, he's the owner of Carmen's Best. It's like hagen das of the Philippines, ganyan. It's a high-end um, kind of ice cream. And then he said that actually they are operating primarily because of their employees. And basically, they are operating at a break-even point. So it's really very a, cha a challenge because why? Ice cream is not a necessity. It's just a want. So, pero one of the things na nagustuhan ko dun sa sinabi niya, parang kasi they are dealing with institutional partners or buyers, meaning mga, kunwari mga restaurants, hotels, ganyan. So, these restaurants, hotels also have their own clients. Sabi niya, instead of um, Farmers Best doing business with directly to the uh, users, and users or customers, they still opted to deal with their institutional partners and ask them how are they or will they still be willing to um, to get uh, even just a few items or units of ice cream with them. Diba? Grabe. Kaya nga, all relationships are built based on trust. Yun lang. Based on trust. Okay, so moving forward, um, Pag-usapan muna natin yung sole proprietorship. Of course, from the word itself, di ba? Yung number of owner niya, isa lang. So, kung halimbawa, yung parents ninyo, meron silang business, it can be a partnership. It's not a sole proprietorship. And the liability separation, yun nga, unlimited liability, that's the risk of ano. Ang, ang good side naman nito, lahat ng profits, mapupunta dun sa owner. And downside niya, kapag nalugi yung business, wala na. Uh, flop talaga yan. I remember, if I may share with you, uh, many moons ago, so, more than a decade ago, we had the Sari Sari store here at home, and, ang nangyari, nalugi yung business, because, yung daily expenses, doon na rin pinukuha, which is wrong. Yun yung sinasabi na separation of yung entity. 
from the business. Kunwari ako, ako yung owner, um, I don't get from my business yung mga personal needs ko. But rather, if if I want uh, to get something from the business, I have to, for example, to pay an, a certain amount for myself. Kumbaga, naka-payroll, ganyan. So, the dissolution, paano ito madidissolve? Owner's decision, transfer of ownership, owner's decision pa rin. So, operations, owner cannot pay himself salaries and deduct as expenses. Funds drawn or withdrawal of capital. So, yun. Kunwari may pera na equity sa banko, 50,000 pesos, eh nangailangan ako ng pera. We need ko lahat yun. I have to return back that 50,000 uh, peso amount as of because it's for my business. And the taxes for sole proprietorship is between 5 to 32 percent and the governing agency, government agency that handles um, sole proprietorship is DTI or Department of Trade and Industry. Of course, you have to get the mayor's permit. You have to register your name of business sa DTI. You also have to get barangay clearance before you're able to get those no mga sinabi ko kanina. Okay? So, if you have questions for sole proprietorship, you can ask me when we have the class. Lagi na lang akong ganyan, ask me, ask me, ask me what. Pero hindi na naman tayo nakakapag-Q&A. Pero you can just ano, email me at mqherrera at up.edu.ph. Now, moving forward for the partnership, ayan, number of owners, two or more. Guys, don't be surprised. Kahit isang daan pa kayo or lahat tayo sa klase, um, that can be considered partnership if we want to regist register it as such. So, yung classification dito, di ba, we have the tinatawag na general partner and limited partner. Ngayon, kung meron kayong kaibigan or kamag-anak and you're not confident na makipag-engage into partnership, um, maging limited partner na lang kayo para limited din yung pag liability or pagkakautang nyo. So, for a general partner, um, he or she has an unlimited liability. So, it extends, transacts over your um, personal investments. I mean, your initial investments. So, it will go dun sa ano, masasakop niya yung iyong mga personal investments. And then, liability for a limited partner, liability is limited to his only capital contribution. And actually, partnership is most common uh, to among those na nasa consultancy, may it be environmental consultancy, sa law, law firm, mga tipong ganyan, clinics, ganyan, small clinics. So what is a managing partner and what is an industrial partner? A managing partner, he or she is in charge of the day-to-day -day operations in the business or organization. So, dapat, yung managing partner, um, kung hindi man siya araw-araw mag-report dun sa office, dapat uh, frequent. Okay? So, mga three, three to five times a week. <laughs> eh, five times a week nga lang yung operation, for example. So, basta he or she is in charge of the overall, uh, overseeing the overall um, operations within the business. So, an industrial partner is someone who contributes services only. So, if you are not comfortable engaging into uh, partnership much, you can be an industrial partner. So, MP, managing partner, industrial partner, IP. All right. Now, intent to form, intentional common agreement. Guys, in all kinds of relationships naman, di ba? Um, yun nga, dapat nandun yung trust. And as I'm always telling you, money and power are the assets of character. So, sabi nga nila walang mag-anak walang kaibigan pagdating sa pera. Pero sabi ko nga, do not focus ourselves on things which are fleeting. Money is important but it's not everything. Well, kanya-kanya kasi tayo ng mga beliefs and orientation. So, intend to form ICA, Intentional Common Agreement. Partners contribute money, property, or industry to a common fund with intention of dividing the profit. Alright? So, this is formal actually. Ang pag-ano, ang pag-establish ng partnership. So, mamaya, ayan, um, may mga explain pa ako. So, for formation, it is contract-driven. It is binding, legal. So, formed from the time the contract is executed. And um, once na ma-register kayo under SEC or Securities and Exchange Commission, you will have that articles of partnership. In the same manner, for example, sa corporation, ang corporation tsaka partnership kasi, they are registered under SEC, 
or Securities and Exchange Commission. It is the um, government regulating body or agency that handles those kinds of businesses. Okay? So for the liability separation, dito na nagkakatalo. Meron ditong limited at saka unlimited. So ito, separate judicial entity. Partnership is a juridical person, separate and distinct from partners, liable for contractual debts. Partners are liable to creditors of partnership. Pero mamaya papasok yung limited and unlimited liability. Okay? So kung gusto nang isis to operate ang partnership, it has to be a partner's decision. So when partners cease to carry the business together, um, it can be uh, for tweetos or not for tweetos, okay, foreseen or unforeseen, unforeseen that of a partner, uh, foreseen somehow expulsion of a partner, it can be voluntary, will of the partners, business is carried at a law. So um, partnership actually, kunwari, uh, meron akong close kin, di ba, or air, ganyan. Pwede akong magkaroon ng ano, um, parang kumbaga ay agreement yan. It has to be binding. Parang kontrata na ibilipat ko siya kunwari dun sa pamangking ko since wala naman akong family pa. Okay? I mean, immediate family. I mean, family of my own. So, transfer of ownership, transferable in agreement may be sold to existing partners or other party if acceptable to remaining partners. Okay? So, it can be. Now, the degree of control of owners, management leadership, all shall be considered managers, managing partner, in case of failure to designate a manager. Okay? So, kung nuwari, in the future, maging ano kayo, uh, doctors, lawyers, veterinarians, um, nutritionists, environmental planners, mga tipong ganyan. So, kung nuwari, half of the class became lawyers. Tapos, nag-convene kayo, oh, di ba, ano, online classmates tayo sa management 101. So, let's form our own business, mga tipong ganyan. Eh, ayaw, walang may gusto sa inyo na maging managing partner. So, lahat kayo, you will have the um, equal right to become a managing partner. And if there are decisions, major decisions in the organization, in case of opposition, matters shall be decided by the majority. In case of a tie, vote of controlling 50%, kung sino yung parang may mas malaking share of capital shall prevail. So, partnership transparency, every partner have access to partnership books. Yung sinasabing partnership books, di ba may naririnig yung isang libro, andun yung mga financial statements natin. It has to be transparent, di ba? One of the things na mahina ang mga Filipinos ay record keeping. So, um, it's one also of the water loose ng mga small organizations kung bakit nag-fail because um, wala tayong record keeping. Yun nga, minsan, or kadalasan, yung kita for the day ng organisasyon ay nakukuha na. Anyway, which is wrong. Degree of formality, it is formal. And meron tayong tinatawag na partnership contract and articles of partnership. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, um, these are already available once you have registered your organization with SEC. And I'm pretty sure uh, most of you ay well-versed kung paano magtayo, for example, ng organization or to be part of an organization, especially, di ba, you have your own respective organization. So, may it be ACADS, non-ACADS, Prats, Soros, etc. So, yung partnership contract, nandun yung ano, mga property and liability sharing, capital contributions, profits and losses, while the articles of partnership, actually, nandyan yung ano, rules, ganyan, specify manager to execute all acts of administration. So, in terms of administering, okay, partner decision-making, their acts alone shall bind the partnership except when making decisions regarding immovable property where unanimous consent is required by law. For example, ano ba yung mga immovable property? It can be a building, di ba, or planta. So, kapag halimbawa, kung bebenta yun, ano ba yung understanding ninyo? Will you have 50-50 or will you have, like, kung sino yung mas malaki yung share? Gan, kung, kung ilang porsyento yung mas ilang porsyento yung uh, investor na mas malaki yung share, ganun din yung equivalent ng makukuha niya kapag nabenta. Um, let me just share a story. I have a close friend. They had a dilemma with a partner of um, yung parents niya kasi um, they are into um, paper, ano tawag dito, yung mga nagpo-produce or print ng mga boxes and pwede rin mga tarjeta. Tarjeta is calling card or any document. So what happened was, 
anyway, to make the long story short, yung neighbor nila naging friend ng parents niya and then um they bought a machine. Ngayon, yung machine um napapunta doon sa partner kasi uh, parang nagtayo ng parang branch ganun. That's how I understood it. Tapos, ang ginawa nitong partner, loko-loko, is sino yung parents niya, sinabi na yung machine is defective. So, parang there was a court hearing, litigation, etc. It was toxic. In the end, ang gusto lang naman talaga nung kapartner nung parents, nung kaibigan ko, ay makakuha ng pera dun sa mga magulang niya. So, I don't know exactly what happened afterwards, but then, um, We have to be careful, especially when engaging into partnership or business, for that matter, to anyone. Okay? Yun. So, profit distribution agreement based, shared according to agreement. So, again, it has to be legal and binding. In case of absence of agreement, capitalist uh, partners distribution according to capital contribution. So, industrial uh, shall be just and equitable. So, ano yung taxes niya? 30% tax rate. Same as tax of corporation for general and limited partnership. So, individual tax payments for general professional partners. Para mas maganda pa nga maging ano eh, industrial partner kasi magbibigay ka lang ng service mo and you will be paid for the service that you rendered. Okay? So, suppose ito. Let's have a case here. So, provided that your business target is 100 million, suppose that nasa partnership kayo ng form of business. Pero yung actual gains niya at the end of the year is 140 million. Ngayon, di ba may tinatawag tayo managing ano, partners? This is based, suppose this is based on contract. All managing partners will equally share 20% of the whole target amount, which is 100M. So that's 20 million. Um, eh, ang number of managing partner mo, apat. So dito 5 million yung ano, apat na yun. Whereas yung industrial partners mo will share Uh, will get 10% of the whole target according to their time contribution. So, 10 million yung sa kanila, pero tatlo yung ano, ITs or industrial partners mo based on this hatian. So, dun sa 10 million, di ba? 40, 20, 40. So, 4 to 4 million ito. So, bali ilan na yung mga tao natin. We have four managing partners, three industrial partners, while the 70% of target will be distributed accordingly depending on capital partners. So parang kumbaga ito yung mga malaki yung ibinuhos na investment yung mga capital partners mo. So 70% of 100 million is 70 million, right? So tik 35 million sila. So that's we're just speaking of the 100 million. Um and then all the exceeding amount will be equally shared regardless of the contribution. So ilan sila lahat? They are 9. So yung 40 million divided by 9. Yun yung ibig sabihin nito sa profit sharing. Again, this um, sharing is legal and binding and it has to be formal. Kung baga may written contract. Alright? So, I hope we're clear on that. Now, let's move on to... Yan. Ito na yung exciting corporation. And I'm pretty sure most of you will be part of a corporation. Again, sabi ko nga sa inyo, your personal vision and mission should be aligned to the vision and mission of the corporation or company where you will work. But of course, guys, you cannot expect that everything you want will be there. Hindi pwede doon na ano, end the semester now or end the company now. It's not like that, guys. And sabi ko nga sa inyo, um, your college life should be a training ground for you of how it's going to be like in the future. Pero somehow, sa university, sheltered pa rin kayo eh. Well, I don't know what's going to happen in the next two to three years or even a year. So let's just see. But if you can be anything, guys, um, contribute something beneficial to the society. Okay, so moving forward, your number of owners, guys, ng, for a corporation, it should not be less than five, but not more than 15. Kung sa partnership, two or more dito between, um, ano tawag dito, yung, yung mga incorporators na tinatawag ha, kung sino yung nag-start, that's five to 15. But eventually, kaya nga nagkakaroon ng mga stockholders, nag invite sila through um, publicly offering their company. So, di ba, we have this so-called blue chips company sa stocks. Andiyan si Ayala, si Jollibee, si John Gohongwei, si Lucio Tan, etc. All our Taipans. Pansin nyo, di ba, mga Taipans yung mayaman. Pero malay nyo, meron sa section natin na maging ano, 
hindi lang billionaire, trillionaire at known worldwide. Ang sabi ni Mr. Yabut. Kailan niyo ba si Mr. Yabut? Siya yung nanalo na ano, sa Entrap Asia a few years ago. Anyway, so number of owners yung magsisimula or tinatawag na incorporators should not be less than 5 but not more than 15. Yun yung tatandaan ninyo. So yung form- formation niya, it is artificially created by law. Um, corporate or judicial existence begins from the date of issuance of certificate certificate of incorporation. So anong tawag dun sa ano? Um, sa partnership? Certificate of partnership, of course, by SEC or Articles of uh, Partnership. Okay, so SEC is Securities and Exchange Commission, the liability separation, separate judicial entity, legal entity liability is separate from owners. So limited liability, all right? Now, I was also thinking bakit ano ito, yung dissolution niya, ma-dissolve siya, not to exceed 50 years, after 50 years, i-renew mo siya unless sooner dissolved or extended. Um, sabi ko, Parang may tanong sa akin, ma'am, bakit 50 years? Sabi ko, maybe um, suppose that you join a corporation by the age of 30 or 25 or even 20. After 50 years, senior citizen ka na. So, um, we'll never know whether um, that person or entity will live that long. It's seldom today that we live up until 100 years of age, but Sino sa atin ang gusto mabuhay? Ako, gusto ko hanggang 85 to 90 years old lang. Gusto ko yung ano pa rin ako, able. So, um, bottom line is, well, at least to me, this is my opinion. Maybe some of you can give, uh, parang kumbaga, eh, do you know that? Yan, mga tipong ano, bits, news bits and pieces. Na kaya 50 years lang yung existence ng corporation because, okay, so not to exceed 50 years. Para sa akin kasi yun yung productive, um, life years ng mga um, stockholders tsaka potential members. Anyway, dissolution by majority, majority vote of board and resolution adaptation of stockholders, two-thirds of outstanding stock and assets. Meaning, yung pag halimbawa um, nagkaroon ng tie or major decision in the organization, kung sino yung may pinaka malaking, di ba, may tinatawag na BOD or board of directors, tapos di ba may tinatawag doon na um, parang general board of director, ganyan. So, kung sino yung pinakamalaki yung share, yung kung magkakaroon man ng ano, tie, siya yung mag-break yung tie. Okay? So, transfer of ownership, formally transferable and recorded. So, yung shares of stocks mo may be transferred through certificate endorsed by attorney, in fact. Kaya nga, ano, lahat kasi dito, parang okay naman kasi sa corporation kasi lahat siya transparent, legal and binding yung mga dokumento mo. So, yung degree of control of owners, stockholder transparency and review, yan, merong libro na tinatawag for the financial um, statements. Okay? Records and financial statements are available for examination by members of stockholders. Maybe some of your parents are members of um, have stocks or relatives, di ba? Meron yang year and reports eh. So, management contracts. But we do everything now online. So, hindi ko naman na-check yun sa akin pero merong mga ano eh, updates doon. So, management contracts, entry to management, contracts with other corporations shall be approved by stockholders. And dividends and capital changes, approval needing representing two-thirds of outstanding capital stock. So, degree of formality, it is formal. Yung existence niya, meron kang articles of incorporation. Um, whenever there are general assemblies or meetings, meron yung minutes of the meetings. Yung bylaws, di ba, sa mga organizations, meron din bylaws. It's a written document or um, stating the roles and responsibilities as well as the policies of the organization. So, election of officers and election of BOD. Yan, BOD, yung highest doon, ang alam ko, chairman. Yun, yeah. Uh, board of Directors, Chairman, siya yung may highest um, share within the organization or corporation. Meetings of the BOD or shareholders, again, shareholders, investors, stockholders, th- those just mean the same thing. So, to elect or ratify actions as required by law or policy. And by the way, guys, hindi naman po linggo-linggo nag-meet ang BOD. It can be once every quarter. Madalas na yung once a month. 
So they are convening, especially if there are urgent or important matters related to decision making within the organization. And I'm pretty sure last year, BOD meetings happened more frequently. Okay? So yung board of directors, they comprise yung sinabi nga natin, yung mga incorporators. Kumbaga yung founders, ganyan. Di ba meron kayong mga charter members sa organization? Parang ganun yun. So administration, board of directors, administered by board of directors, general management policies made at board level. So ano yung mga pinagdidesisyonan, dividend, disposition list if they are leasing uh, building exchange decrease and increase in capital stock. I remember last year, I have a friend um, who's working for an insurance company in Makati. And then um, prior to COVID, pre-pandemic, they transferred to a building in in Ortigas or in Pasig temporarily kasi inaayos yung building nila sa Makati. And then I just heard from her recently that they transferred to their Makati office na help yung pagpapagawa or renovate ng office nila sa Makati. Nag-stop silang mag-rent in order to reduce the cost. Pero um, thankfully, wala namang na-retrench sa kanila so far dun sa, um, sa organization. So it's one of the things na pinagdidesisyon na ng mga BOD just to share with you. So, profit distribution, profits or dividends na tinatawag ay declare ng BOD. So, stockholders must ratify stock dividend amount received depends on the number of stocks. Corporations are prohibited to retain surplus profits in excess of 100% of their paid-in capital. So, based on the Section 43 of Corporation Code. Okay? So, these are, these different forms of businesses are also governed by different RAs or Republic Acts or laws. So, taxes, just like partnership, 30%. And based on the Internal Revenue Code of 2009, applicable to domestic branches to foreign countries. All right? So, suppose, ito, madali lang to. Um, we have five incorporators here. So, yung dividendo, kumbaga, kumita si kumpanya ng um, 10 peso per share. So, if you have, if you are investor one, you have 50 shares. Investor two, 16, and then 18, 15, 5. So, how much will incorporator one get? Of course, imumultiply mo lang yan. 50 times 10 is equals to 500. So, if you have more shares, then more chances of having more dividends. Yun lang yun. That's just one, as simple as that. Okay? So, si Sir Fitz, meron pa siya mga sinasabi mga kung ano o ano last time, di ba? Pero it's true. Pero I have not experienced yet um, receiving dividends nga. Parang ano nga eh, namumula ang aking mga stocks. Yan. Cooperativism. Alright. So, let's move forward. Sino sa inyo ang members ng cooperative or yung magulang nyo kakilala kay Digan? Taas ang kamay. Alright, so I remember when I was young, um, ang mga kaibigan ko nun ay mga after college kasi ay dilidalid. So I hopped from one job to another and there were times na wala akong trabaho. Tapos ano, I was with my father and yung mga naging kaibigan niya, naging kaibigan ko rin and we formed a cooperative. Kaya lang, ang mahirap kasi we were um, having, walang tumutok. We have different ano um, jobs or pinagkakaabalahan that time. And it's one of the downfalls kasi na kooperatiba. Pag wala talagang tumututo. Anyway, pero based on 2016, 2016 data lang yun ako ko kasi nag-research ako for 2020, walang naipakita. So the top 10 cooperatives in the Philippines are the following. ACDI, Savings and Credit. I think this is, top one is ano Philippine Army. So, narinig ko to parang dati parang ano daw 15% daw yung dividend ng ibinibigay buong buong sabi ko wow talaga ba so if you have like 1 million dun buhay ka na ng ano uh, parang you're living on the dividends yun yung kagandahan I, I don't know kung kung ano nangyari dyan kasi parang ano eh um, ewan ko kung nasilip sila ng CDA Cooperative Development Authority or ng AMLA Anti-Money Relaundering Act hindi ko alam pero parang na-update yata siya Tapos, ano, alin dito yung familiar kayo? Ako, familiar lang ako dun sa top one. Pero ang um, cooperative for me, related to my field na sobrang okay, ay um, sorry, sorry, iba ba development cooperative? They, uh, they are from ano, Batangas. Yan. Kasi they are ano, selling 
they started selling animal feeds to poultry and swine farmers in Batangas. Then eventually it became big. They had, meron na silang ano ngayon eh, gasoline station, meron din silang cable, lahat. Meron silang mini mart, etc. Pero ang core nila ay sa feeds. I don't know how they performed in 2020, but it's one of the cooperatives I studied in 2019. Okay. So, um, there. Ano ba yung characterization ng ano, kooperatiba? So, voluntary. Yan. Magiganda yung mga ano nila, konsepto niya. Pero alam nyo, sabi ko nga, it started even the time of Rizal. And um, more so, nung 1980s, mas marami talaga yung tina yung kooperatiba. Actually, cooperatives were set for the use of agri and um, for agriculture farmers and fisher folk fisher folks. Ayun. So, kaya siya, yun nga, the rise and fall of any organization or of any person is yung sa kooperatiba kasi management talaga, leadership. Sa person naman, ano, greed. Ang, ang, ang tingin ko, isa sa mga advices, yun yung mga nakikita ko. Well, um, for the cooperatives, let's go back to our lecture. Um, it is voluntary, equitable contribution, common end, and shared risk. So, association of persons of voluntary trying together to achieve a common end through formation of a democratically controlled organization making equitable contributions to the capital required and accepting fair share of risk and benefits of the undertaking in which the members actively participate. So, I think this is very self-explanatory. And, ano ba yung maganda sa kooperatiba? Uh, dapat Meron kayong ano, kapag yung mga miyembro at leadership, early, uh, mga leaders mo dun sa organization ay para-para kayo ng common goal of parang ano, bayanihan at iangat yung sarili, aangat yung kooperatibang yan. Of course, uh, coupled with action. So, there, there are cooperatives na tinatawag na marketing cooperative, meron din multi-purpose cooperative, may tinatawag na credit cooperative. So, yung ibang mga, kunwari, yung isang kumpanya, eh, yeah, one of the corporations I, I visited in in Palawan. It's a corporation, yes, but yung union, labor union, nagtayo sila ng kooperatiba. Tapos dun sa kooperatiba, meron silang store, parang um, grocery, kasi they are located in a far-flung area, far away from the town or city. So, member benefit produce goods and services for the use of or the benefit of the members. For example, right now, meron na kung cooperative na kinabibilangan. Sabi, kapag na-reach mo yung certain amount na to, you can loan as much as four times nung in-invest mo and at the same time with a lower percentage or interest rate relative or compared to banks. Mga tipong kanyan. So, universal cooperative principles, open and voluntary membership, democratic control, and limited interest on capital. Okay? In the same manner, kung limited yung interest sa capital mo, limited din naman yung interest doon sa iyong ano, um, hihiraming pera. So, ito yung different forms of cooperative, accredited cooperatives. Ano yung alam yung cooperative dyan sa lugar ninyo? There are still almost 3,000 active uh, cooperatives in the Philippines. Okay? So, credit cooperative promotes savings and thrift among members of accumulate funds to provide loans to members. Producers cooperative farm to undertake joint production of agricultural or industrial products. Consumers cooperative, they are primarily to procure goods for resale to members. I think yun nasa Palawan na sinasabi ko, consumers cooperative yun. Service cooperative organized to provide services to members. Marketing cooperatives um, organized to centralize the purchasing of inputs, etc., etc. But any combination among this or lahat to, it can be called a multi-purpose cooperative. And most of the cooperatives na, um, na, na witness ko ay MPC. Parang seldom na lang yung credit, for example, na hindi talaga nagpo-produce ng any product. As a, a, a service is, credit is a form of service. So it is also former, artificially created by law and registered under the CBA or Cooperative Development Authority. For those who will start the cooperative, it has to have at least 15 members. Okay? So, separate judicial entity, formality, it's formal. Okay? Dissolution, pag-dissolve mo based on charter agreed, 
dissolution by majority and administration still by the BOD or board of directors. So uh, last 2019, I interviewed a cooperative in Batangas and one of the problems is that it's a multi-purpose cooperative. They are producing animal feeds, but the thing is their members are usually mostly backyard poultry and swine farmers. However, the LGU declared that the municipality will be an ecotourism area. Thus, mas tumaas yung requirements in terms of waste management, ganyan. So yung mga owners, they just decided to stop their business. Kasi, di ba, napag-usapan na ba natin yung economies of scale? Economies of scale, di ba? You can reduce the price of a certain commodity or good or service because you are able to produce more. Ngayon, if you're we're just speaking of two to five heads of pigs, tapos mahal pa yung feeds mo, hindi ka, ano, parang, parang ka nang nagloko nun. Parang lugi ka na talaga. I remember from 2018, yeah, farmers are really complaining here in the Philippines because, ano, ang demand sa kanila, babaan yung presyo ng palay. Eh, yung cost of, kunwari, cost of production of per kilo palay, 18 pesos. Gusto yung pagbenta ng 15 pesos based on the provision or government price tarification, ganyan. ba? Parang you have a 3 peso loss or difference. Alam nyo sa ibang bansa, kaya sila, they are able to produce their goods lower. Other subsidy, okay? Aside from that, mechanization. So, yun, di ba yung problema natin dito sa Philippines, aging farmers, like 57 years old, an average age of farmers. Um, pag minekanize mo naman siya, um, dadalihin mo naman siya yung cultural aspect. And you cannot mechanize for a small farm holding. So, kailangan i-cluster mo. Kailangan i-consolidate mo yung mga lupa. So, there are really pros and cons. But to me, young as you are, to entice or to make farming, agri, business here in the Philippines sexier, just like what Ms. Cherry Atilano is promoting, is to capacitate our youth uh, through the use of digital technologies, precision agriculture, the digital platforms or online platforms. Parang there has a cohesive way of looking into it. That's why um, yun na lang yung gagawin kong passion to educate, shaping the minds that shape the nation. Baka kasi, di ba? Baka naman. Game changers, future game changers, shakers and movers of the Philippine society. So, characterization, profit distribution, interest and capital based on dividends again. And yun yung kagandahan ng kooperatiba. It is exempted from tax. Pero ngayon, meron ng tax um, to a certain degree. So, kapag halimbawa, na-reach mo na yung kunwari, 1 billion earning or profit dun sa kooperatiba, um, posible, hindi ko lang sa uli yung mga provisions, pero meron na rin mga kooperatiba na nag i -impose ang CDA or gobyerno ng tax. Okay? So, um, kunwari, di ba, based to dun sa ano, universal, universal to operative principle in terms of profit distribution. So, kung halimbawa may net surplus dun sa kooperatiba, yung first, first thing that the cooperative should do is to put 10%, minimum of 10% of net surplus to build up a reserve fund. Okay? Kasi kumbaga sa ano, uh, kumbaga sa negosyo, kailangan mo ng ano, working capital or kailangan mo ng pinapaikot na pera. Ganyan. So, second allocation for an education and training fund of the employees kasi kailangan nila i-capacitate and to update them themselves. Third is the optional fund, land and building fund, community development fund. So, payment of interest on share capital and patronage refunds are only allowed after three priorities are fulfilled. But the thing is, kapag break-even or negative pa, wala na net surplus, then the cooperative cannot really sustain itself. Okay, so as a summary, points to ponder, there is no best form of ownership, but there may be a form that is best for each entrepreneur's circumstances. The normal trend is to start out as a sole proprietor, then change into a corporation or partnership as the business grows. So, kapag marami ka na build na business, baka gusto mo naman mag-cooperative. So, I'm just going to show you this. 
um, summary. I'm not going to go over this one by one. You can just scan this. All right. So these are the things that we have also discussed. Okay. Okay, so for examples na lang. Sole proprietorship, for those of you who are from Los Baños, okay? So we have the 101 Boutique, Jericho's Bakery, Mises. Gusto nyo, Papo Shomai, ganyan. Partnership, we have the law firms. Consultancy, more common ang partnership sa mga consultancy. Law firms, accounting firms, consultancy firms, corporation, we have JFC, SMC, Ayala, Globe, BPI, okay? NAC or Nickel Asia Corporation, Mega World, yan. Cooperatives, just like what we have mentioned earlier. So, UPLB Credit Cooperative or CDC, uh, most of the members are, or staff, faculty and staff of UPLB are members of this credit cooperative, but was not able to become a member. Pero meron yung isa sa forestry, ERDB, yun, member tayo doon. Plus, we also have the Samahang Nine. All right? So, what if, question, answer this in your head. You want a business, but you do not have enough capital. And other four friends are interested as well, but you still want control over your business and formality. So what kind of business do you want? Uh, will you establish? Your group wants to avoid taxes. You have enough capital and want full control of your business. You are a person who always starts conflict and you want a more stable business, but not as publicly towards welfare, yet wants to take advantage of limited liability. So the answers will be partnership, cooperative, sole proprietorship, and corporation. So there. Okay, so give me another 15 minutes to discuss or 10 minutes to discuss the next session. So those are our references. Thank you for listening. Now let's move on to the second part. Promise, I'll just make it short. So, guys, business functions, imagine niyo siya na anak ng management functions. This is, um, hindi naman talaga siya mutually exclusive, but they have relationship naman. But this is different from the management functions. Kung baga, mas macro ang perspective ng management functions or processes, micro yung sa business functions, internal, ganyan. So, um, ano yung objectives natin? Parang ano, na ulit. Yan. Anyway, so functional areas, ito yung mga basic. We have the four basic, financial management, operations management, marketing management, personal management. For ABM e-majors, you will delve more on this on a per subject basis as you progress in your career, as you progress in your acad life, okay? So financial, you know what management is really very important important and interesting because um, it's very dynamic, meaning ever-changing, and you just have to know the fundamentals so that you can um, think analytically and critically, okay? So financial management primarily, primarily concerned with investment and finance, financing decisions. So dito pumapas yung mga capital budgeting na tinatawag. So investment decisions, for example, um, Again, sino nga nagde-decide sa organization? It's the top level organization, okay? You cannot expect me a teacher to, for example, the, the students want to end the semester. Si Ma'am Aisa yung tanongin nyo, it's not like that. So, in the same manner with the financial decisions, investment decisions are done or decided upon by the top level management. For example, dito, preparation of long-range plans and budgets for major in investments, plant expansion. So, Si Cooperativa na inaral ko before, um, they are just renting a warehouse so they can, um, based on study or feasibility study, they can put up their own warehouse. I don't know if it is up and running right now, but of course, it has to go through a feasibility study. Actually, it went through. So determination of the total amount of assets held by the firm, the composition of these assets, business risk, complexion, of the firm. So, ang interesting niya. Gusto ko to. Capital budgeting process. Example of investment decision making. Yun nga, yung investment decision making, kunwari, you have three options. Whether to expand, okay, or are you just going to rent or do nothing. So, doing nothing is also an option. But of course, it has to be, ano naman, um, practical solutions. So, capital budgeting, important financial policy area 
concern of the businesses, a top level concern because it involves allocation of finite resources or funds, involves the choice of capital projects to be undertaken by the firm, critical steps, identification, and prioritization of various capital expenditure proposals given specific acceptance criteria. You know what? Um, when I was taking finance in graduate studies before, yung partner ko, yung groupmate ko, siya yung ano, accountant. So parang ang, ang pinili namin is whether to put up uh, to our LGU as Lotter House. But we found out that aside from the environmental requirements, social requirement of a slaughterhouse, nandun talaga sobra yung economic requirement. Kasi, syempre, kaya ka magtatayo ng slaughterhouse because there's enough volume of what? Swine to be slaughtered or livestock. Like cattle, carabao, kaya nga yung mga carabao, dapat hindi. <laughs> cattle and swine, for example. So we found out that it's not advisable to, to put up a, a slaughterhouse in, in that particular LGU because hindi siya kikita. So we had that ano, um, profitability analysis for a 5 to 10 year period. You have to you have to establish first the base of resources. So financing decision, determination of the financing mix and sources appropriate for the requirements of the firm, meaning um, uutang ka ba or hindi? Okay? So, where are you going to get the funds for the decision, investment decision that the company is making or organization is making? So, for example, when to issue common stocks, preferred stocks or bonds, and when to borrow short-term or long-term. Sabi nga nila in finance, the higher the risk, the higher the return, but it is not always so. Pero kung kunwari, ikaw, lending institution ka, banko ka, di ba, ano yung mas mataas yung interest rate? Yung mga short-term loan nila or long-term loan? Tama, long-term loan. Why? Because there's a higher risk. That's why they put in more or charge more interest on loans. Kunwari, sa bahay, di ba? Um, akala mo, meron ako tinitingnan ngayon eh, na, na, na parang subdivision. Pag halimbawa, uh, the, the cost total contract price should be 1.8 million. Pag binayaran mo siya in 5 years, 32,000 yung ibabayad mo. Di ba parang malaki? 32 times 60, how much is that? Around 1.8 if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um... Yeah, 1.8. Pero kapag naging 10 years siya, magiging 15, uh, magiging 20,000. Kapag 15 years siya, magiging 15,000. Pero nung kinumpute ko, kapag 15 years na siya, yung total na ibinayad mo is 2.4 million. So that's, that's 600,000 peso difference. You get what I mean? I know you get what I mean. Alright? So kumbaga, the shorter the term of loan, Mataas yung premium na ibabayad mo, pero um, in total, ano siya, mas mababa yung ibinayad mo. So, 1.8 versus 2.4. Yun nga lang, ang ano mo doon, ang kagandahan kapag long-term spread, spread siya. So, sabi nga rin yung kaibigan ko, eh syempre, you also have to account for the depreciation. Kasi ang building, usually in depreciation yan ay 10 years. So, kumbaga, napakinabangan mo na yung asset. So, it still depends on you or the decision maker. Okay? I hope I got across there. So operations management, so it's also called production management, but right now it has to be called operations management. It covers production planning, production control, quality control, which incentives. So ano ba yung mga production planning and control terms? So we have here routing, loading, scheduling, dispatching, expediting. So for the engineers or who will become engineers in the future or who will work in the plant, Okay, plant, a manufacturing plant. So these are some of the terms that you will be um, encountering. And also in operations management, diba, if you visit some manufacturing plants, you'll be able to see these um, symbols. Okay, so yan. Dati nung college, pag nag-trip kami, kasi pumunta kami sa komisari ng Jollibee noon, pumunta rin kami sa Gardenia, and pumunta ba kami sa coke ng bata ko. Anyway, Ayun, na, naaliw lang ako sabi ko, ano kaya ibig sabihin nito mga sa may pintuan to nakalagay, mga symbols na to. Parang process flow lang siya. 
Pero so ayan yung mga ibig sabihin niya. Anyway, quality control is also very important for manufacturing process of ensuring that products meet quality specifications. So actually sa operations or production, yan yung nagdedetermine ng wage incentives ng mga empleyado. Involve the determination of bonuses for meeting or exceeding production targets, the basis of payment of compensation, and the penalties for poor performance, defective or rejected outputs. Actually, if we can have access, no, dun sa mga nag-shutdown na kumpanya ng ang mga automotive company here in the Philippines. Maganda. Anyway, baka meron kayong access. I, I have actually access to Harvard Publishing cases, but I cannot share it to the class. Ayoko, ayoko pong makulong. So, yung ibibigay ko sa inyo ay based on sa Michigan naman na um, approved siya by the institution to be to be shared to the students. Okay, now let's move on to marketing management. Concerned with marketing opportunities, deals with components of different marketing system, the competitors, suppliers, and buyers. We also have the marketing programs na tinatawag. Meron dito tinatawag na marketing mix, guys. Yung 4Ps and 7Ps. 4Ps kapag sa mga product-related, 7Ps kapag service-related. So, ano yung 4Ps? Basic product, price, place, promotion. Um, for those who took up EBM E10, you're very much well-versed with this, di ba? Because these are necessary for preparing business plan, feasibility study. So you have to define what your product is. Where are you going to promote them? What kind of promotion mechanism are you going to use? What kind of marketing strategy, pricing strategy that you will use? And then the additional three for the service kind are the following. Process management, people, and physical evidences. So for the fast food restaurant, they follow the seven piece quality service. Okay? Seven piece. Four plus three piece, okay? So right now, nauuso talaga yung digital marketing. Alam nyo, parang in the field of agribusiness, sabi ko nga, uh, pag napagsama-sama mo yung fundamentals and then meron ka about data science, about GIS, sobrang ano siya, sobrang okay talagang gawin. Alam nyo, sobrang natutuwa ako dun sa mga projects ng ano ngayon, ng government. Ewan ko kung narinig yung Saray, Project NOAA, Philippine LIDAR, kasi... Um, magkakaroon ka ng, for example, yung sa LIDAR, magkakaroon ka ng ano, natural resource inventory ng agriculture, fishery, forestry. So, parang yung mga suitable areas for production, malalaman mo dun. So, if you are a potential investor, pwede kang magtanong or have access of those information para alam mo rin kung saan ka magtatayo. Yun nga lang, you also have to take into account ang peace and order. Uh, I have a friend who told me na grabe, pristine daw talaga yung ano, tubig sa tawi-tawi. Kaya lang, it is what? Um, it is a place na medyo ano, um, mataas yung kumbaga ay reservation ng mga investors because of the peace and order situation. So mga tipong ganyan. So you just read this guys. I'm not going to delve on this anymore. So for the personal management or HR, it's concerned with administration of employee benefits, recruitment process, performance evaluation of employees, orientation of new employees on company policies, personal policies and company history. Guys, read on your notes or the single file for a management 101 because personal management is related to what management function or process, okay? So, maintenance of personal records. Other business functions na yung ibang company ay present, especially, for example, pharmaceutical, di ba? They have the research and development. For an advertising company, they have the public relations. For a company which is into producing goods and services, so they have purchasing. So, that would be all for today. I hope that you learned something and see you again during our Zoom session. So, there. Thank you.